I'm a fool, but I can't miss this. Far from love, but I'm stuck. Today I'm doing a little bit of a review of this foundation. I'm really excited about. Don't have perfect skin by any means. I have hyperpigmentation. I've got discoloration around my mouth, which is really common with mel melanated women. Um, I've got, you know, probably some scarring from old acne. I'm just not perfect. I just wanted to start out and by showing that, that I'm a normal human being, okay? Yeah, I got it in the shade Coco Deep, which is number 86. The packaging just looks like so. So this retails on like the Sephora website for a typical foundation price. You're looking 50 bucks, I think. Um, I got it at Marshalls for $16.99. So I was like, you can't really beat that with a stick. So it was worth trying out. This is what she looks like. Packaging is really nice. Um, at first, I was really excited because when I took the cap off, I thought, oh, it's like a dropper, like an oil, like a serum, you know, like one of my serums that I apply. Um, it's not actually. So, this is the only kind of thing that's weird to me is that the applicator is just, it looks like this. It's like a ball. I don't know how to explain that. So, I'm just going to do a swatch for you. And if I'm correct, this is the darkest shade they have. So I have red undertones naturally in my skin. I'm trying to work with the natural lighting so I can get the most accurate view, but I'm like, it's honestly easier to use my studio lighting. <laughs> I won't even lie to you. Um, so I think we can make it work for sure. I just think it's gonna be a matter of shade matching because this is my natural shade on the right side, and this is what the foundation is going to do to my face. So yeah. It The box does say less is more and that this is a foundation concentrate. second to kind of oxidize and melt into the skin and then I'm just gonna buff it out with a face brush this is just from the wet n wild pro collection this is their p70 brush I love this collection so I always like to do this to my foundation I feel like it kind of just evens everything out I'm not applying any extra product kind of helps everything dry down gives you a better idea of what you're looking like color wise so Okay, so I'm about to finish with my foundation and I really like how this looks. I think it looks really pretty. So yeah, this is the finished look. Okay, so I want to wrap up really quickly. Here I am away from the window and I am in front of the studio lights now. As you can see, a little ring light illusion through my pupils. Um, it looks good. I might, like I said, maybe just have to bring it down just a little bit more to my neck because i think it's a little bit lighter but overall i love it i think the coverage is freaking phenomenal and i love it it's definitely full cover if you want to jump on a sale um i'll leave that link below because sephora's got it at least in most of the shades um about half off i think like 20 20 like 20 25 bucks right now for this foundation so like i did say earlier it is a liquid co foundation concentrate it's very much a concentrate. It's just a very powerful, a little drop goes a long way. I love the look of it. I think it gives me, because I've got combination oily skin, so I think it gives me, um, I was worried about it being a little too wet looking for my taste, which is why I did use the Becca um, Mattifying Primer. 
because this stuff is like really, really mattifying. So I think the, the combination between this and the actual foundation, I think this went really well together. What do you guys think? I think it did. Um, a couple of things that I would say that maybe I don't, that are cons about the foundation are simply because of the, the shade range. It wasn't as extensive as it could have been in all reality, especially because it's Marc Jacobs. I'm just thinking like, I think some of your other products, like a little more thought was put into the application and the applicator and all that kind of stuff, just because like the overall look of the bottle is really pleasing and aesthetic. I like it, it's glass, it's like that frosted glass. I have flown on a plane four times with this and it didn't break. And put it in any type of special like stuff, not even in the box, just in my makeup bag. So I'd say it's pretty durable and I love the way it looks. To be really real with y'all, I love this. I just wish this was a dropper D due to how liquid the foundation is or a brush. Just for easier applications because it's literally just like a little ball. I don't know. Um... So yeah, even like a pump would have been okay. I don't know. So yeah, that was the only thing that was a little odd to me was just the applicator. Other than that, I absolutely love this. I feel like it's a great um, foundation to add to my collection. And I really love it. I think it's really pretty. Now, because I've got powders and stuff on the rest of my face, I do feel like my face looks a little lighter than my body. So... I don't know, I'm gonna do a little bit of a wear test and see how it looks by tonight and how the foundation's holding up. But overall, I'd say at least a nine out of 10. I think I would say 10 out of 10 if this shade was a little bit darker because I'm really dark, but there are darker women in me. So my thing is like, why was this the darkest shade? I'll hop back on and just show you guys how my skin's doing after a little bit of wear. Okay, so this is a little bit later, guys, and I still like how it looks. This is with no lighting. This is just me and my house. No special lighting, no ring lights, no uh, ex overexposed outdoor lighting. This is just real and raw um, with no gimmicks. So I still really like the foundation. I just think it looks really good. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are new to the family, make sure you leave a comment so I can say hello. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.